Okay, try number two. First attempt, I had the wrong settings on and I ended up breaking them out. Well, that mount didn't work. Which obviously the mount I have, I don't have like the curved one that goes under the visor. I was just kind of running it with some tape. So now we have a lot more tape and we shouldn't have any issues. So let's try this yeah. again. As you guys can see, it is super dry out. Like that is super, super cracked. Probably not the safest thing to be riding, but we're gonna give it a go either way. Gotta get some ride now. And I haven't had the chance to get a skid steer or anything out here to fix all these rain ruts or anything. So I'm just running it. I like to hit all these jumps, but you can tell I have a slight drainage issue here too. I need to kind of figure that out because all the water runs down from the top of the property all the way down right here, right in front of my two favorite jumps. So I might have to lay some pipe down and get a little drainage issue fixed here. But so today we're only hitting, you know, the known jumps, unfortunately. And I also don't have the ramp here anymore, which is kind of a bummer. So I will be getting my own made. But uh, until then, we're just stuck on the dirt for right now. Yeah, you can kind of tell <laughs> it's jumps are kind of a hack job right now i mean you can ride them but everything's so hard packed and dry it's like kind of slippery having them crack underneath me is not like the sickest thing just making do i'm sure it'll be snowing here in two months anyways so whatever all right let's see if we can work on some turn ups it's i've been kind of struggling with turnips on this bike i did them at the baja brawl and they weren't great because they're super difficult on this bike because of how fast rear wheel spinning on a 450 you go off the lip and you turn and you literally keep the thing wide open and it gets the front end up just enough especially if you pull right at the right time to where you can get like a sick turn up on this you have the issue of you leave the lip if you hold it pinned you could probably like backflip the thing so you really have to have a little bit more finesse on this bike. So that's kind of a give and take with the, the Starks versus the 450, at least for turn up whips. All the other whips, yeah, they're, it's a no brainer. But for turn ups, I wanna practice some on this bike a little bit more. And as well, I'll be practicing a couple of different variations of whips. I do have a little bit of a hook underneath, hook attached to my brake lever that I was going to try and see if worked. I don't know if it's going to, it's pretty tiny. And it's a little sketchy hooking up underneath the brake lever compared to this, obviously. But we'll make it work. I was also having a couple issues with this bending on me, which it doesn't look like we fixed it, unfortunately. Because when I do turn ups, I pull on it and I'm pulling pretty hard, so it's kind of bending it. I have to reinvent that a little bit more. jump hey these landings are just so bad now everything's super tame because of all like the wear and tear and the rain and the weather from this year and i just haven't rebuilt anything yet it's actually super tough on my body it might not sound like it but it hurts I didn't know I'd dust you out like that. I think I hearted one before too. That one's okay, but it's not backwards. I 
kind of miss the ramp. This is so hard to judge. Just a flat every time. That was pretty big for like having a leg off. Just doesn't feel like it does on the ramp, but it was pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty sick with the leg off. Dude, I got this thing backwards. You can't get it upside down off of dirt unless it's super steep. But you can get this thing fully backwards. Pretty sick though. Yeah, you might be able to snipe me from here. Yeah, that'll look cool. looks huge from this angle. Let me, let me do it. I'm gonna just f***ing pin it after I land, okay? going big enough? It looks pretty big. That was so gnarly. My foot almost came off. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, that wraps up today's video. Honestly, just more wet practice and just kind of having fun using the new Hero 13. Shout out to GoPro for sending me one of these. This thing is super sick. Comes with a ton of ND filters, a couple different lenses, a bunch of different options to make your footage look unique and different. Super stoked to have one. Hopefully gonna be able to up the uh, quality of the YouTube videos. So at least that's the plan. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. I know I say it in every video, but it does help. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.